guys, what's going on? Daily Gaming here. In, in the face. It's amazing, yeah. Uh, so that was my, my face. I've shown it before in a previous video. But, uh, you know, it's just, again, for those of you who are new. Um, so basically, today, this is sort of a 2,000 subscriber special. Um, I'm doing my, uh, my gaming setup here. Uh, it's not impressive or anything. Um, I mean, to some people it might be. I mean, I worked hard. I put a lot of money into it and stuff, but, you know, this is just my desk here, uh, but, I'm gonna go, go back to my face, um, before I get this started, I've got a new jacket, which is nice, because my old one was ripped down the middle, straight up, so, nothing to do with that, this is like a little thing, this used to be my, um, <laughs> my dad's old workout area, so, I overtook it, and it became my room, so this is a, uh, little punching bag thing. I don't know what they're called. Um, sorry if the camera's sickening. Um, I'm trying to hold it, but it does... Okay. Whew, looking smexy. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so basically, this is for my 2,000 subscriber special video. Uh, it's going to be, you know, just this video. I'm not doing a whole week-long special like last time. Uh, but I am going to sort of incorporate into a series called Daily Time, uh, where I sort of show off sort of my personal life, let you guys get to know me a little better. I'm not giving out my address or anything like that, but just so you guys can sort of get a feel for what I'm like at outside of gaming and stuff. So I guess I'll do this video and then it'll be a series. So I guess I'll do, you know, some like my whole room tour. This is just the gaming setup tour. I could do my retro gaming tour because if you guys didn't know, I'm big into retro gaming. Got like an NES and SNES, all that good stuff. Actually, one of my uh, little Cousins was playing with my NES because they do that whenever they come here. Um, and they broke like eight games. Oh my god. Whatever. They weren't great games. Um, I keep all my nice stuff up here, but, you know, whatever. Um, C'est la vie. That's life. They're nice kids. They didn't mean it. So, yeah. Um, so basically, I guess we'll, uh, we'll get started with my gaming setup here. Uh, so pretty much it's just this little corner. Nothing super special. I've got this super old, like, it's like 10-year-old chair or something. It was like my dad's, then it was my mom's, then it was my sister's, and now it's mine. It's got no cushion at all. I'm sure the back support is just crap, but uh, it, gets the, it gets the job done. Um, it's very squeaky, too. Uh, so besides that, I guess we'll move on to the, uh, the hardware. So I'm sitting in the chair now. So we've got the Lenovo Razer X315. I've done a review of it done an unboxing of it, so this is the third video with it. In it, very nice computer, um, very good for medium level gamers or people who are just like starting off right out the bat. Uh, the reason I bought it, I wanted a really high end computer, but um, I decided to go medium because I'm going to be off to college in two years, so, you know, I guess after college or during college I'll buy my super computer. This is just a nice budget medium level computer. Uh, it's the A10 series. I definitely recommend getting the A10, not the A8, because it's way better. AMD-wise, I mean, what? I don't know. Um, so then for, I've got this power strip here, and then I've got this old um, Alienware, what is it? Um, I can't remember what model it is. I'm sure you guys know, but it's like six or seven years old, and it's super buggy as hell, but it's my old reliable. I mean, this was the computer I used to game on before I got the um, Lenovo Razer. It was amazing for like three or four years, and then it just died. You know, it, old computers get old fast now, and, um, you know, it couldn't support anything new, and it's just slowly been deteriorating, but um, I didn't really, I was way young back then. I was like 10 or something, and I, I didn't really know how to take care of a computer well, so it got all sorts of viruses and stuff, so, you know, but it's my old reliable, it still works, it's good for surfing the net, oh, sorry, my camera, I wasn't really paying attention to what is happening, uh, it's my old reliable, it's good for searching the net, good for, you know, having a second stream to, a screen to check the stream if I'm streaming, so that's definitely a good computer, um, I mean, not anymore, but it's good to have, like, a laptop next to your desktop if you're streaming or anything like that. Um, plus, I mean, other, otherwise it's worth like 50 bucks on eBay, so what, might as well keep it. Uh, my headphones, a lot of you guys have actually asked me about my mic. 
uh, because you think it's really good. It's a Logitech USB mic. It's I bought it for like ten bucks at Best Buy. Um, it's really good quality. Maybe like two or three years old. It's very nice. Highly recommend that mic. Don't know what it's called. It's good though, <laughs> I guess. Um, here's my monitor. Probably the nicest thing to my uh, setup. It's an LG. Uh, hope you like my nice Stormtrooper background. Um, sorry, it's a Clone Trooper, not a Stormtrooper. Um, but I'm going to you know, tilt it down towards the keyboard because the glare is probably you know, contrasting the camera or something like that fucking up the white balance. Um, but basically this um, monitor is super sweet. I'll just give you the pan. Um, I got it so in Massachusetts if I'm sure this is pretty much every other state but if they mark the um, item incorrectly then you get it for the par price marked as opposed to the actual price. Uh, so they marked this it's like 500 bucks or something they marked it like 50 bucks. It's probably not 500 maybe like 300. Um, but they basically forgot a zero and it ended up being like 30 bucks or something. Friggin' amazing. Um, so my mom bought me that for my Christmas present, which was awesome. It was great. Uh, so then I guess I'll just show you the rest of my desk. It's a nice desk. Very decent. Sturdy. Loved it for years. Um, over here, this is just, I did no cleaning today. So this is literally how my desk looks all the time. I'll just show you the stuff I usually have on it. Uh, so over here, I've got my harmonica, which I play when I'm bored. Book of harmonica songs that I wrote down, just the tab for it. And then the Beatles' greatest hits for harmonica. This is one of those Fitbit watches over here. Um, I think it's my sister's. Um, and then here's my AP US History textbook. Very thick, but nice, I guess. No, not really. Um, we are on the right side of my desk. I'm scooting my chair along. Uh, I've got my lamp. Then I've got... Uh, Bose wireless um, speaker. I sometimes don't go here. Um, back here you can see there's a um, headphone to headphone jack in the Bose speaker. So sometimes I, ouch, I just hit my head on my basketball hoop. Um, sometimes I'll connect it to the computer um, as my speaker system and it's a great speaker so it works well. Just shifting my thing back. Um, then over here I've got my um, stuff, pencils and stuff. That's me and my sister on Christmas. Um, so yeah, with our cat and dog. One one dog, the other dog. Too big for the photo. Um, so yeah, then my trash barrel with um, Q-tips in it. I don't know where those came from. I think my mom was up here. Uh, because this is actually the attic. Um, it's, it's my room, but um, it's the attic. So there's a, like a more storagey place over there, but it's kind of full of crap. Uh, because my grandparents just moved and they dumped a bunch of their stuff on my mom. Uh, so we've had need for more storage. And so as you can see, this pile of stuff that's supposed to fit in there, it's been there for like months, has just been adding up and adding up and adding up. So now it's been stuck in my room. So all my pretty things are getting wrecked. Um, yeah, back here I've got some old antique trinkets and stuff that I've dug up in the backyard and stuff because we're on a um, old 1800s garbage pit, which is kind of funny. Um, and then this is my shelf of media. I've got like um, movies and TV DVDs that we've just collected over time here. Uh, Star Wars, all six episodes, Neanderthal Jones, Ghostbusters, Pirates of the Caribbean, etc, etc, etc. Up top here, here's my vinyl collection, which a lot of you guys have been asking me about. Uh, what I've got in my collection, um, I just have the Beatles, Hey Jude, and um, Revolution single right there, just for no reason. I just like the way it looks. Um, so I think the next Daily Time episode, I'll probably do my vinyl collection, just show you guys everything I've got in it, my opinions on the music. I mean, it's all music I like, so I mean, it's all going to be good opinions probably. Um, up top, I've got random farm animals that I found and this weird Great Britain apple thing it's a container I don't know where my mom got that from she's an interior designer so she's got all fancy stuff um, I don't know that's my like a super old license plate from not super old but if you want to see super old that's from 
1914. Dug it up in the backyard. Massachusetts license plate from 1914. Uh, this is probably like from 2000 or something. Uh, we got a pig, two more pigs, and a duck from 1981. My grandma gave that to me, and I liked it because it's a duck. Um, down below, oh, got these weights. Um, they're not mine. They're actually super light, like 15 pounds, I think. So. I probably wouldn't work out with those because I would gain nothing. Um, then down here I've got extra golf balls because I golf and I suck so I'd lose a lot. <laughs> and I mainly took up the sport just to play with friends because they all do it and I was like, you know what? I'm bored. I'm doing it. So that's why I golf. Uh, I've got some CDs. I've got hundreds of CDs but they're all at my dad's house. Uh, my mom and dad are divorced. I don't know why I'm telling you that. But, well, I guess it's, it's you know, get to know daily day. So, you know. Why not tell you guys? Uh, so those are just like seven of them that I have here for no reason. Then I've got a f only I only have a few cassette tapes. This is literally all I have. Um, yeah, I like vinyl way more than cassettes, but uh, the little lady's secondhand shop that I go to to buy all that vinyl, she sometimes gives me free stuff because I go there all the time. So she gave me those. Um, then I've got just a crap load of 45s. I have boxes and boxes of 45s because she'll just hand me a box of 45s and be like, look, I've got no more room for this. Do you like this stuff? Go for it. Have these 45 singles. Just go for it. So she gives me a ton of, the, ton of those. These are just the ones, the artists I actually like. Like, Let's see here. Oops, crap. Um, that's uh, Phil Collins. Love Phil Collins. Uh, Charlie Daniels Band. Herman's Hermits, uh, Lionel Richie, which, I don't know, I don't know why I have Lionel Richie there, I'm probably going to get rid of that after this, uh, but yeah, that was my gaming setup, plus a little extra on this corner, I guess I'll go on to the second half of the room later, which is a mess right now, um, you sneak preview of what is to come, oh yeah, and the, I guess this counts as my gaming setup, I've just got my little corner of geekness, uh, with couple of Lego guys I have from years past. Okay, nice pan. Um, then we've got uh, a member of the uh, 501st and a droid. And then two Halo Spartans, uh, Elgato game capture box, and a helicopter box. So yeah, guys, uh, that's me pretty much just my gaming setup. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Have fun. I've got large circles under my eyes because daylight savings has fucked me up and my school schedule. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed. Comment and subscribe if you did. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. Oh, wait. Gotta turn off the camera.